Welcome to the Unraveling My Channel. We're now diving into the heart of machine learning with Pats as we unravel the essence of our channel. Get ready for a thrilling ride with fun and fumbles, overfitting in machine learning models. I'm Abhishek, a data science and AI specialist and your instructor. I hold a PhD in the field, and together, we'll delve into practical insights, real-world examples, and maybe even a few fumbles along the way. So, fasten your seatbelts, embrace the fun, and let's unravel the complexities of machine learning together. Get ready for an enlightening journey into the world of data science and artificial intelligence. Are you excited? I know I am. Now we'll navigate the exciting yet challenging landscape of overfitting in machine learning models. From the intricacies of model training to the pitfalls of overfitting, we'll explore it all. Whether you're a seasoned data scientist or just step the world of AI, there's something for everyone. Imagine a bed so perfectly shaped like the person sleeping in it that even your machine learning model would envy its overfitting skills, capturing every contour with unparalleled precision. Welcome to the whimsical world of sleeping bed overfitting, where we'll explore the quirks and nuances that make overfitting both amusing and insightful. So, join me as we unravel the comical side of overfitting and discover why our models should aspire to be more like an accommodating, one-size-fits-all bed. It's a journey filled with laughter, learning, and a few surprises along the way. Are you ready to explore the cozy yet hilarious realm of sleeping bed overfitting? Live in and discover why our models should embrace the beauty of generalization. Sweet dreams await. If you look at this picture carefully, you will find a puppy or bagel, a game? No no no. It's not just a game, it's a delightful dive into the quirky world of image recognition. Join us as we unravel the amusing similarities that challenge even the keenest machine learning models. Get ready for a positively fun exploration of overfitting and the unexpected connections between our furry friends and your favorite breakfast bites. Ha ha ha. What's that? Belly or donuts? Brace yourself for a hilarious showdown between human curves and sweet circles. As we unveil the delightful dance of pixels, we'll ponder how overfitting might blur the lines between a belly and a box of donuts in the eyes of our mischievous machine learning models. Let the belly laughs commence as we navigate the tasty terrain of overfitting in our visual adventures. Now let's dive into the machine learning maze to unveil overfitting. Ever wondered if your adorable puppy could be mistaken for a cupcake? In the realm of machine learning, misclassifications happen, and we're about to explore why. What if your chihuahua is labeled as a muffin? Let's unfold the whimsical world of overfitting in machine learning models. Let's understand overfitting, demystifying misclassifications, and finding the sweet spot in machine learning. Let's define overfitting. Overfitting occurs when a machine learning model learns the training data too well, capturing noise and outliers instead of the underlying patterns. Let's visualize overfitting in 2D plane. Looking at the picture on right side, we can see that while building a machine learning classifier categorize purple color stars and green color circles, the decision boundary constructed via red color covers all the points in graph. What's the inference that can be drawn from this graph? In such condition you can also think that it's a good graph which cover all the points. But that's not actually true, the predicted line into covers all points which are noise and outlier. Such model are also responsible to predict poor result due to its complexity. Do you remember our chihuahua misclassified as a cupcake? That's a classic case of overfitting, the model got too cozy with the training data, missing the bigger picture. Let's go back to our college days. I want to explain these concepts using a real-world example. A lot of folks talk about the theoretical angle, but I feel that's not enough, we need to visualize how underfitting and overfitting work. Consider a math class consisting of three students and a professor. Now, in any classroom, we can broadly divide the students into three categories. We'll talk about them one by one. Let's say that student A resembles a student who does not like math. She is not interested in what is being taught in the class and therefore does not pay much attention to the professor and the content he is teaching. 
let's consider student B. He is the most competitive student who focuses on memorizing each and every question being in class instead of focusing on the key concepts. Basically, he isn't interested in learning the problem-solving approach. Finally, we have the ideal student C. She is purely interested in learning the key concepts and the problem-solving approach in the math class rather than just memorizing the solutions presented. We all know from experience what happens in a classroom. The professor first delivers lectures and teaches the students about the problems and how to solve them. At the end of the day, the professor simply takes a quiz based on what he taught in the class. However obstacle comes in the semester three tests that the school lays down. This is where new questions, unseen data, comes up. The students haven't seen these questions before and certainly haven't solved them in the classroom. Sounds familiar? So, let's discuss what happens when the teacher takes a contest at the end of the day. Student A, who was distracted in his own world, simply guessed the answers and got approximately 50% marks in the test. On the other hand, the student who memorized each and every question taught in the classroom was able to answer almost every question by memory and therefore obtained 98% in the class test. For student C, she actually solved all the questions using the problem-solving approach she learned in the classroom and scored 92%. We can clearly infer that the student who simply memorizes everything is scoring better without much difficulty. Now here's the twist. Let's also look at what happens during the monthly test, when students have to face new unknown questions which are not taught in the class by the teacher. In the case of student A, Things did not change much and he still randomly answers questions correctly 50% of the time. In the case of C, his score dropped significantly. Can you guess why? This is because he always memorized the problems that were taught in the class but this monthly test contained questions which he has never seen before. Therefore, his performance went down significantly. In the case of student C, the score remained more or less same. This is because she focused on learning the problem-solving approach and therefore was able to apply the concepts she learned to solve the unknown questions. How does this relate to underfitting and overfitting in machine learning? Look at this picture, think and answer in the comment box. You might be wondering how this example relates to the problem which we encountered during the train and test scores of any classifier? Good question. So, let's work on connecting this example with the results of the classifier that I showed you earlier. First, the classwork and class test resemble the training data and the predict over the training data itself respectively. On the other hand, the semester test represents the test set from our data which we keep aside before we train our model, or unseen data in a real-world machine learning project. Now, recall any example I mentioned earlier. It struggled with the test set. Comparing that to the student examples we just discussed, the classifier establishes an analogy with student B who tried to memorize each and every question in the training set. Similarly, any classifier tries to learn each and every point from the training data but suffers radically when it encounters a new data point in the test set. It is not able to generalize it well. So the conclusion is the situation where any given model is performing too well on the training data but the performance drops significantly over the test set is called an overfitting model. Look at these three scenarios and the results which are self-explanatory. We are now at the end of this short presentation and let's summarize. We embarked on a whimsical journey into the heart of machine learning, exploring overfitting with a dash of humor and relatable examples. We defined overfitting as the pitfall of a model learning training data too well, illustrated through the hilarious misclassification of objects like chihuahuas as cupcakes and human bellies as donuts. We explored the consequences of overfitting, comparing it to memorizing answers without understanding concepts, and emphasized its significance in ensuring models generalize well to new, unseen data. We infused fun into the learning process by unraveling amusing instances where machines might mistake dogs for mops or human bellies for donuts, creating a light-hearted atmosphere while delving into the complexities of machine learning. Ready for more? Stay tuned! Thank you for joining our fun and fumbles journey into the world of overfitting.
We've just scratched the surface of the machine learning maze, and there's so much more to explore. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our exciting machine learning adventures. The fun has just begun. Next up, we'll be unraveling various problem statements in ML. Get ready for more laughs, insights, and perhaps a few more surprising misclassifications. Until then, happy learning.